Hey everybody, today I have a lovely and quick and easy card making idea with jelly prints. You need these squares that you can see here and I cut mine with a die and my Big Shot but you can also use um, a paper punch. Um, I haven't measured these, I've just had a look how big my cards are and if they will match and they work super nice for the size cards I have here. I'm using a piece of um, cardstock to glue the squares onto and then I'm going to cut out that whole um, the, the background I'm going to create with them. And the only thing I'm doing, I'm just laying the pieces next to each other to create a pattern. And I'm using a glue stick, the Tombow glue stick, to as my glue to adhere the pieces. I try to work quickly so my glue stick does not dry. And I'm just alternating between the different kinds of squares. I'm mixing the orange with one of the others. I think that is a really nice idea what you can do with your gel prints to create an interesting background for greeting cards or even for something else like artist trading cards if you make your squares a bit uh, smaller. If you are interested in some jelly printing videos, there are a lot on my channel and I'm going to link up the playlist in the top right corner in the info cards. You will also find all the products I'm using in the video description underneath. And there's also a link to our blog where you can have a look at the close-up images of these cards. I had enough orange squares for two cards, so I'm making two cards. I cut out the backgrounds and now I'm going to adhere them to a card base. At this stage I thought I would cut off the bottom of the card because it was a little bit too long. But once I had them glued down, I really liked that, um, that as a style element. So I decided to keep the bigger area at the bottom. For a focal point, I picked these leaves and I made them a while ago um, with my sketchy leaf stencil number one and the jelly plate and there is a video tutorial available I think and I'm going to link this up in the top right corner info box so you can check that out. I have made a bunch of these and used them already um, a lot in my art journal work. Um, but they match perfectly with the color and I also feel with the with the whole style to these card backgrounds and I'm going to adhere them to with the with a foam tape to the card backgrounds. As the theme of these cards is quite autumnal, I decided to stamp the sentiment thank you and I'm going to emboss this one with a greenish embossing powder from WOW. It's also very nice together with the green focal elements. So I decided to pick that one. I 
I'm now using some foam tape and put it at the back side of my leaves. Um, I prefer the one that I have to cut myself because they, uh, you can cut it a little bit bigger than the pre-cut foam dots and that's what I prefer. There are just a few of these stencils left in the shop, so if you want to get them, I would recommend get them now because we will not restock these stencils again. I cut the sentiments or with a banner die and I'm now looking where I want to adhere them and I'm also using the foam tape to adhere the banners to the cards and I'm really happy that I kept the bottom part of the card because I think it looks much better with it. Um, accidentally I put that foam tape too close to the edge but then I decided that this will work on the other card probably and that 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 worked um, and I'm adhering it to the other card and then I take care not to go too close to the end of the banner so it can overlap with the leaf on the card. I'm going to cut off the overlapping paper with a scissors. I really like the look of the cards. They are quite graphic and I think they look really interesting. It's a bit different to my usual style, I would say, um, but I really like the idea to patchwork um, the jelly prints, not as wild as I did it in one of the past videos. Uh, it's more organized with these squares. Yes, my cards are done. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope we will see us next time. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye.